Hi guys, welcome to Flipside. My name is Daniel Etim Effiong and you're welcome to the flip side of my life. So when I'm not on set working, this is what it looks like. But I'm on set and I just finished a scene. So we've wrapped, pretty much wrapped for the day. I'm checking out what I have to do next. My next scene, which will be happening early hours of the morning tomorrow, okay? But that's for the next scene. About today, I'm about to get out of costume and chill. Uh, we're filming at the beach, the good beach, so I'll probably walk around the beach and then retire home. But for now, we're still on set. Uh, as you can see behind me, uh, some of the cast and crew. Uh, it's been a good day, but very tiring. Um, yeah, so enjoy it. You just want to dump me, don't you? What? You want to dump me with a complete stranger while you gallivant the streets of Paris, right? That's what this is about. You just want to dump me and not feel guilty about abandoning me in my lowest moment. B. Yes. So this is Amina. She's a cast chaperone. She's taking care of me on this set, She's holding my big bag. So I just, uh, yeah, I'm just, I just get my bag back from her and then, um, and then get ready to leave. But first, I gotta get out of costume. Um, so this is our producer and director. What's you, going Jay? On? What's going on here? <laughs> Dada wants to unpackage me. Where's my wig? Where's my wig? <laughs> to pick up my girlfriend and take her home. Oh, yeah. But you didn't, you didn't have to come all the way now. This place is far. You come know. on, you know it's not. You don't have to. Come, come, come. 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 I love to pick you up and drop you. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm back home from set and uh, I'm just going to take a shower and watch some TV and just relax. Then I might take a nap before I head out again. Okay. Hey baby! Hi! Daddy. Tired. Just got back from work. Remind me about your birthday. Of course. I still remember, I haven't forgotten. <laughs> you know that baby part ended, what, 30 years ago? I'm 35 years old now, mom. <laughs> okay, so I have showered now, I'm chilled at home. <sighs> and this is my favorite spot at home to chill. 
aside the bedroom. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I love to watch football. So I'm going to just put the TV on the football channel. I'm not necessarily watching the football per se, but I'm just, it just relaxes me when football is on. Yeah, so this is me on a regular when I'm not working. I can sleep off here. As you can see, all the blankets here, all the throws. That's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and of course, um, we, have a, we have a small piano there. My daughter plays and teaches all of us in the house to play piano. Um, so when I'm not chilling here, we are there messing around with the piano while my daughter schools us all. So if you don't mind, just come with me. Mm -hmm. So this is us. Okay, I must confess, I don't know what I'm playing, but yeah, this is how we, it's also, uh, music is also very relaxing for me as well, so I love to just listen to my daughter play, um, and then when I'm driving as well, the favorite thing, favorite song to listen to is just classical, um, it relaxes me, Lagos is very <laughs> tense, it's a very tense city, and to just keep my sanity going, I listen to music. So this is my wife and I and our wedding day. Fun memories. Um, this is this is a Thrift Globe Awards for the best actor. Uh, this one is oh an award from church where we got married. The uh, Church of Christ Cathedral, I believe it is. Um, Marina. This is an award of excellence from, oh, from Rotary, Rotary Society, brilliant. Um, this uh, Kumla Dumont Award for Storytelling from um, Afri Nolly, I think it was. Uh, this one, yeah, this belongs to my wife. Smart Steward Awards, Awards for Art and Entertainment. Go baby! Yeah, my wife is such a queen. I love her. Um, yeah, and this is one of my favorite motors. I'm nothing without God. He's still God without me. As you can tell, ours is a family that, um, ours is a faith-filled family. Okay, we believe in God. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much. I can't believe this has gone to an end. Like, this has, it. has to be the most fun I've had in like ages. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you have when you have great company. Absolutely. I totally agree. But thank you for doing this. You don't know how much this means to me. It's fine. I had so much fun. You don't have to thank me. Oh, by the way, um, my wife's company manages me, so she's my de facto manager, or her company is my de facto management. So I tend to run things by her from time to time. So uh, I've been inspired by lots of um, Nollywood players through the years. Um, growing up, Judy Dada, who at the time um, had just graduated from theatre at the University of Ibadan. And I was still in, uh, I was still in, I think in secondary school or just about to enter uni. And he was a huge inspiration to me because he was my, he was friends with my, his, his family friends and he used to come to my house from when I was little and always used to talk about the arts, always used to talk about storytelling and film and theater and I just got inspired. And fast forward several years after, 
after uni, after engineering, and coming circling back to the entertainment industry, I have an opportunity to work with Judy Dada. And that's how I got my Globe Awards, starring in a Judy Dada film. So this is Best Actor Award for uh, the film, for my performance in the film Kofa. Um, I've also been inspired by uh, Mr. Richard Mofedamijo R.M.D. Huge, huge impact in my life, just watching him act, watching him carry himself, his longevity in the industry. Um, also been inspired by um, Akio Motosho, just his creativity and his knack for telling really important stories. Loads and loads of filmmakers have inspired me, just mentioning the few that come to my head right now. Um, Sam Dede as well was, has been a huge inspiration. Growing up, Sam Dede was like my acting coach, you know, and um, just the opportunity to work with him now in the industry, sharing the same set um, with him has been mind-blowing for me. Um, yeah, to mention a few names that come to my head right now. Hey, Bobo, come, 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 come. Yeah, so this is my boy. Um, hey, Bobo, how are you? So my family is my family is Catholic, and I have a, a strong Catholic background, a foundation. So what I do from time to time is I listen to Catholic classical hymns. Okay, these are like classics in Latin. It takes me way back and it has a sort of like cultural effect on me and that's where my inspiration comes from, from my gut. You know, I love classical music. Thank you for that. You see, he's given me some, <laughs> some background music, yeah, but that's, that's where a lot of my inspiration comes from. Um, I love to wake up early in the morning. Uh, early in the morning after praying and my, my mind and heart is open to receive. Um, that's where a lot of my inspiration comes. That's that's when a lot of my inspiration comes from as well. Um, and then I read, I read all kinds of stories, African literature, um, um, espionage, um, espionage uh, novels. There was a time I did I did Brotherhood, the crime crime uh, thriller, crime drama with um, multi-choice for, for a year. So um, I got a lot of my inspiration from Robert Ludlum's um, novel. What do I like to do for fun? I love to swim. Uh, I love to listen to music. I love to travel. Um, I love to relax with my family. Keep playing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's what I that's what I love to do. When I'm not acting, when I'm not working, I'm watching TV. I'm watching a game. You know, I miss a lot of things. I miss a lot of games on on TV. So I I record the game. So when I'm not working, I'm back home and I'm going through, you know, the games that have been recorded. Uh, my wife would be like, "Oh, babe." This is an old game, <laughs> like you know the scores already, why are you watching it? But yeah, it's, it's very relaxing for me. Mm. I'm a nice guy, of course I'd say yes. Mm. I don't have homes, do I? Mm. Exactly, I do not look like a devil. So better stop this act before she comes out and finds out about us. Hey guys, this is my flip side on Hip TV. Keep watching. Don't go anywhere.